Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sanjay Raj. In this video, I wanted to teach you how to create a simple book list app using vanilla JavaScript and HTML as well as you guys can see it's a web development app. Um, so you guys can just type in inputs and when you click on add book, it will just add it to the table. So it's as simple as that. So let's just get started. So here I have an index.html app.js and a bootstrap file. We are going to be using bootstrap but before you click out of this video, bootstrap is just an easier way if you are new to bootstrap. So let me open my index.html first. Let me uh, put exclamation mark which will uh, use emit and create the boilerplate for us. So the first thing I am going to be doing is I am going to put the title as booklist app and then I am going to link this to the bootstrap uh, CSS because we are not we are, we are not going to be using actual CSS so the first thing I want to do is create a div with a container class and a class of empty 4 which says margin top 4 and also inside that I need netch1 uh, to display my book list I want to say display 4 which is the size of it and I also want to give a class of text center to say that I want it to be aligned in the middle. Inside that I want to say my and I want a span because I want the book to be a different color. So the span I want to give a color, what, what color do I give? Okay, I'll give a primary color which uh, I should put text primary and I will say book and you can come out of the book and say list. Um, so actually I should open this up with live server if you don't know what a live server is it's, it's just a plugin in Visual Studio Code by the way I'm using Visual Studio Code here uh, it's a plugin for Visual Studio Code that makes uh, programming much more easier and just brings live uh, updates on the web browser you're using mostly Chrome I think uh, so after that we, you don't want to come out of the div but after the H1 you want to put a form with an ID of book dash form, sorry, um, book form, and inside that you want a div with a class of form group. Now, what this is gonna do is book form. Uh, it's not because we are making a book list, but book form means it brings it in a form of a table, like an actual table. But this is not the table; this is a form. Okay so form group and inside that we have a okay we have the form groups so form group is the place where we, we have each input so we have label and for we have this for the title and i'll say title and after the title i need a input import is gonna be uh, with an id of title I'm um, sorry if you hear some mouse clicking, it's just my brother playing COD. And after that, I want a class as well of form control. Now, this is gonna do everything. So, as you guys can see, it's gonna like show uh, the title as a label and also the input. So, what we wanna do, we wanna copy this form group and paste it twice because we need. Um, both the author and the ISBN so let me do that quick author and here author as well and here ISBN uh, here I want to give it in uh, caps here also I want to ISBN now that's done as you guys can see now we need um, button so input with the type of submit and I want the value to be add book now if I do save it it's gonna look like it's yeah it's okay but we want it to be looking a little bit good as it, this is one of the projects that we are doing so we want to give a class of uh, btn uh, wait btn primary and btn block now what this is gonna do it's gonna expand it obviously so let me get it down btn is a button btn primary defines the color and btn block defines that it should be uh, spread or all over the place i mean only for the width so right after the form want to create a table 
with the class of table obviously and with the class of table striped now this is gonna create a striped table and also sorry i forgot mt5 which is gonna put margin top 5 and also we want to create a table head we want to create a table row and th i think it stands for table um head or height and uh, for that we want to put title and then we want to duplicate it twice i'm doing it by shift and down key down arrow key so that's the way you duplicate it and get it down title and author and also the is sorry um the isbn like that uh, so it's right there after the t head you want to create a t body create the same thing but what you actually want to do is just create a t body because we are going to be using this id to use it as a uh, document in the javascript so i want to say book list so that's pretty much it you can uh, see it's almost the same and you can switch to javascript so in the javascript you want to grab some stuff so uh, i'll just put variables if you're new to variables variables um, okay new to comments comments is a way of uh, showing the code showing what is actually happening in the code so const um, first of all we want to get the title input so I will say title input equals document dot query selector. Um, is it an ID? Um, is this an ID? So query selector with an ID of title. I want to duplicate it twice. I want to say author input. And here I want to say ISBN input. ISBN input you want to say author isbn i also want to get the button because we want to listen for a click um, mm, button document dot query selector we gave it a class i think of btn and also we want to get i think the book list as i told we want to grab it in javascript Yes, the book list with an idea of book list. Yeah. Um, so let's say book list document dot query selector with an ID of book list. So we have grabbed everything. So first of all, we want to listen for a click and then create all the uh, elements. So so button dot add event list now, if you are not familiar with this i recommend watching my previous videos because i actually go in depth by teaching uh, some projects i leave some in the description but if you're really interested i recommend uh, going to my previous videos uh, if you have any doubts you guys can actually leave it in the comments or you guys can DM me on instagram link will be in the description regardless add an event list now we want to listen for a click and go after the um inverted commas and put a comma and then write function just put a normal function after that when you listen for a click we want to see if these things are empty so the way we do that um so this is called a validation check um presents check also we want to see if it's presented inside so we want to see if the title input dot value is equal uh, if it's equal to nothing and also if the author input dot value uh, I'm sorry you should put double equals that's JavaScript okay also you should put double equals there and and ISBN input sorry isbn input dot value double equals nothing if everything is equal to nothing if there's nothing in all the inputs what we want to do is we want to simply alert uh, enter any 
input so if this is not a case if everything is entered we want to put else we want to do something so we want to create an element we want to create a tr a table row inside this for each click we want to create a table row and then put all of this because if we only put that it's just gonna go horizontally rather than going vertically so as we do it you guys would understand so uh, I'll just say const uh, book list row equals document dot create uh, create element want to create a tr and after that we want to make all the title inputs and stuff so the uh, const um, uh, so sorry sorry const new title we want to make the new title to be equal to document dot create element um, it's down here it's a th and we want the new titles in a HTML which is the actual value that's in the th which is this stuff the values so you want it to be the title inputs value no value so now it's hard to explain but as we go through you guys will actually learn it so dot in HTML and we want to append this to we want to include this in the tr as well here as here itself so it's more easier so book list row dot app append child we want to append the new title uh, like that we we've got to copy it we got to paste it a couple of times two times so new author um so um, sorry it's this should be booklist row we want to append that to the booklist row um so here it's there already so author input dot value and here you want to put the new author just like that so new i isbn we want to create a th over there new title no not a new title we want uh, um, what do we say um, new isbn not in html equals to what is that isbn input yes isbn input and we want to append new isbn now it's kind of complicating i know because even when i was doing it like i'm doing it after two months right so it's really complicating for me itself Yes, when you do it a couple of times, or when you do the code a couple of times, it'll you'll actually learn, you'll be able to memorize it. So we have created all the values. Now we wanna append. Uh, I think we have done all of them. Uh, we wanna create the th. Okay, so we wanna get the tr. We wanna put that tr into the book list. Uh, this book list so what we should do is we want to get the book list um, dot append child we want to append the book list row inside it my guess that might work but if it doesn't it's not a surprise we can work on the problems it'll be more easier uh, we'll just say um, William I just been I'm, I'm just gonna give a random value for ISBN uh, if I click on add book okay so there's a problem mm. okay so okay I've not okay I've not linked the script you should always link it because it's something every any programmer could forget easily forget I'll just say Harry there I'll just say me and I'll give a random number for ISP and if I click on add book yes that's not working let's see why and caught hyper calculated value of null at line 10 okay mm. 
10 title import dot value called type error of null okay 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 the query selector with an id of title um okay shouldn't put that hashtag there let's see if it works now um this is some random numbers guys if i click on add book yes it is working so this is just a simple tutorial guys you guys can actually expand this it's all up to you you guys can expand this you guys can experiment with this and also i want to give huge thanks to travis media for actually inspiring me on making this tutorial because uh, this was something that uh, beginner programmers could actually uh, try to expand their knowledge on javascript as well so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video please subscribe um, uh, subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram which will be in the description and i'll see you guys uh, in the next one peace Thank you.